halfway through the opening practice of the weekend for the NASCAR Xfinity Series here at Phoenix International Raceway. Saw Brennan Poole going to the garage there. A little damage on the right side of his car. The reason why, a spin coming off of turn four. Yeah, he was just finishing up a 13-lap run. Looked like to me, Michael, he was trying to come to pit road. Oh, and we talked about how fast that car was. He's still uh, up inside the top 10 after mo most of our top cars have run and takes out the orange cone and the yellow barrels. Not a lot of damage, though. I think they can fix that up, right? I 100% believe that. But that I talked earlier, Larry, about how you got to check off every piece of the puzzle to win a race. Clear. He was just trying to get in pit road as hard as he could because that's what he's going to have to do tomorrow. This from our 360 camera, courtesy of DC Solar, and there he goes around. Such a helpless feeling. And Brian coming up here, Rose. It's still the mystery machine for Eric Almirola in the 43. Now, the car was up on jack stands. For about the past 10 minutes, crew members, including Doug Yates from Roush Yates Engines, all underneath the race car looking to see if they could diagnose where the smoke was coming from. They still could not figure out. So everything looked clean. They're sending them back out to see if they could try to duplicate what took place on that first run. But right now, they just have no idea. Second. Xfinity practice of the day here at Phoenix International Raceway. And the second time we are seeing the red flag, this time for the 07 of Ray Black Jr., who went high up against the wall down in turn one. Yeah, this was about lap two that he just had went out for his third time. What, what, do, you, what do you see here, Michael? I don't know. He's awful late in the corner to, to have a brake issue. You wouldn't think that, that it was something that Ray did by locking up the brakes. It's like he had a, a flat right front or, or, or the suspension on the right front corner failed. It, it, it didn't look like there was anything that he could have done because of, you know, if he had gotten in too late and really stood on the brakes and locked them up, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see any evidence of that. But the car never turned. It just went straight. Yeah, you see him come down the back here comes down into turn three pretty hot you see the car it looked like it wiggled a little bit and it got him up out of the groove and then he got in that real loose sandy stuff and and uh, tapped the wall and this was actually his second lap so he had already had some heat in the tires made one lap was pushing a little bit harder as Jamie he went McMurray in. times in yellow night. yellow yellow we got to spin and off and now the apron. caution is out on the apron car has spun out in turn four what? and in that the is the Casey five Kane. of Casey Kane a lot of smoke. Uh, and that smoke's coming out of the cowl. It sure is. That's an electrical fire or something inside that car. We got a lot of smoke car. on the car on four. I don't know what happened there. He was just close to the back and other things had gone. Our car is on fire. Get him to open the hood. Now he is second fastest, so he had completed his run. Where is that coming from? I can't. Is it? It's is like inside it's the, the engine. It's the cowl, like inside from the air, inside the air cleaner. But but what's going on here, guys? That There's something weird, weird right I've there. I've never seen that, that before. There. All of a sudden, there was just a bunch of smoke. I mean, something's on fire. Yeah, it's just weird. There. It's in. The, it appears to be, it, but it appears like something's blowing it back up. You know, like it's being sucked back up out of the uh, air cleaner. Wow, this is interesting. 22 of 39 drivers have taken time. There were about four of them on the racetrack when this happened. Yeah, uh, no I, fire extinguishers they're, they're in They're not use. seen flames, so I think that's why they haven't hit it with any kind of fire extinguisher yet. In there or something. So he's finished his run. And there it starts to... That's that. awesome seeing that air flow over the car like that. Yeah, Larry, Larry that looks like your wind tunnel piece. <laughs> That is not the kind of smoke they want to see going over the car. I'm just not sure. we got to find out what that is. I've never seen that before. Uh, it, it appeared to be coming out of the air cleaner. You know, guys, just remember, it's electronic fuel injection, but I still, all that's down in there is the throttle body. I, I have no idea. I'm like you. I've never seen anything no, like this. I haven't either. 26-24. Kirk Bush second, 26-20. Oh! Oh, trouble for the 48. Oh, my gosh. Blew it right front, I think. I think you're right. Big hit. Red flag. Man, that thing just shot right. Well, the tire looked up to me. What was that? Something, maybe a suspension component or something broke in that right front. I don't know. The tire looks... No, no, the tire is down. Is it down? It's soft. I think it's sitting on the splitter. We can't really, can't see how... Jimmy has radioed in. He's okay. That was a huge lick. Right in the middle of the corner. 
That'll knock the breath out of you. Clock stops with a minute 24. Wow. Watch this lane, Mike. I mean, this, this is it's just crazy how fast it goes right. And there's Jimmy climbing out. Good news, he's okay. In the corner, going, going, and then just what? all at once. What in the world? I just the, can't imagine what turned that thing straight in the wall. I mean, that was three quarters of the way through the corner. Wide open in the throttle right there, back in the gas. Now, after it took off, he locked the brake, locked up the left front right. all the Watch way this, to the wall. Watch this thing just all of a sudden. Up there. All of a sudden, she you can tell just. it's not really turning something. Yeah. I mean, to me, that's like something the steering yeah, well, broke. You, you know, but Jeff, if you watch the car, it got a little wee bit loose. You reckon that when he corrected, he just didn't have time to get no, it rolled up? No, no, he he could have still pulled it away from the wall. It, it was just going straight towards the wall. And the tire looked up as he went up and got close to the wall. I, oh, I, I, I think hard it, hit. I think one of the things that makes it hard to tell, too, Mike, is it's sitting on the splitter. So even if the tire's soft, it might not be quite as obvious. Let's listen here. Mm. Thank God for that safer barrier. Oh, my Lord. Under caution for the second time today for the NASCAR Xfinity Series here at Phoenix International Raceway. A problem for Jeremy Clements, who was running 22nd. Looks like he just got outside the groove. Maybe a tire issue. I don't know. What do you see, Joey? Looks like a right front to me. It looks like he was uh, up high, yes, and he was kind of moving along, and then it just looks like it took a hard right. Late in the run like this, I can see this grinding on that right front. Eventually, it's going to blow out. Up toward the wall, is that Newman? It is. Caution's Ryan out. Newman has brought the caution out. Something dragging hard, and you know, most to the right side, and the right front. This is what always concerns me about this long of a green flag run. You build so much brake heat when we run over 50 laps, especially with a car that's maybe not driving well and the driver's using a lot more brake. You cook the beat of the tire. I would not be a bit surprised if that's not what happened to Ryan Newman in this 30. Built up, but I would be surprised. I think when I saw the car go by, Jeff, it, it just looked like a, maybe a brake heat and it cooked the beat. That's that's exactly what Larry was saying. I think he's right. Yeah. Heavy damage to Newman Chevrolet. They have come to pit road. See if they can get it fixed here. Well, you could almost, almost <laughs> felt the impact from up here just from that camera angle. So after the first lead change of the day, 78 of 312 laps in the book. How about a NASCAR Fox crank it up? reason we study history is because it often repeats itself. 52 laps into the first run of the day, Ryan Newman hit the turn three wall hard, bringing out the caution. Paul Menard, 53 laps into this run, has done the same thing. He says he thinks something broke. Yeah, it happened pretty early getting down in there, but that is in the braking zone. 
Hopefully, I mean, it looks so similar to what uh, we saw with it, Ryan Newman in the I, 31. I'm almost, I'm almost certain it's a it's another a right front bead. Now those are teammates. Both cars out of Richard Childress racing. A loud explosion and Ricky Stenhouse into the wall hard in turn number one. Yeah, we heard I uh, heard a tire go uh, as he went down into turn one, and of course he right went straight into the wall. So Start we're right at jump. that we're right at that point. We've been going about 50, 55 laps. We've seen the other two tire problems. We have one here. So that big boom, likely a right front tire, and maybe terminal damage for Stenhouse car as we go to the third caution flag of the day. Ricky Stenhouse. In the number 17, Roush Fenway Ford up and into the wall hard in turn number one and put us under the third caution flag of the day. Thanks, Chris. 87 laps to go. Trouble for Brad Keselowski. Look at all the sparks. No caution. Inside, inside. Get down if you can. Get down if you can. Get down if you can. And caution way. Right. Right. He was running in there. Tenth place, Kazowski was, but that looks like we've got another one of those failures. Yeah, but this time it's in the right rear, which is very odd. Oh, yeah, you see the right rear is down on that car. Go. Let's see what happened here, Jeff. Look at it just shred right there going yeah. into the travel. Had really seen that tough today. place for that to happen. Great job saving the car right there. This could have been. You know, your day could be done right there. I, I, I can't believe he kept it going in a straight line. Hey, Jeff, he'd been complaining about that car not turning. It makes me wonder, had he been cranking more and more rear brake into it? And we had gone just about 60 laps, 61 laps under green. When a tire problem, again, this time for Brad Keselowski, puts us under caution. I'll tell you another thing he's lucky with uh, right rear. It didn't tear that quarter panel off that car. It's uh, got quite quite a bit of damage, but uh, it's not ripping it off the car well, anyway. Car, then, uh, that time, Dale Jr. Car in the wall, around. turn four. Casey Kane. Uh, Casey Kane. Yeah, about, he's up high the five car. Nice and easy here. Stay low. All right, it's a new trend. It's a little later this time. Well, if you can move it, he's about 10 back. He was running 14th. Here he comes right here. If you can move. You know, so hoping the kind of year that he's had last year was a rough year as well. I'm so hoping they were just sort of like we talked about with Matt Kins. It's just going to put a solid finish together. This team really needed that momentum. You can see that right front. She's down. And the number five will come into view there. And there she goes. She just turned dead right. Uh, that tire goes down. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, I'm quite certain it's another bead that melted and right there in the may, uh, big load part of the corner it gave out Flag. Harvick, nice restart three wide Kyle Busch to the bottom and they're gonna make it off turn two Harvick the leader the race will be official at the caution or the checker and this is where I've seen Kevin Harvick be so good. You see that launch that he got through one and two. Carl Edwards is going to give him a run for his money. Well, There's two what, tires. It's, it's, it's going to be hard for him to hold Carl Edwards off. Austin Dillon dropping way back. Won't be a factor. If Harvick. Harvick can hold him off, I tell you, he's Superman. That's all I can say. Well, he held him off right there through one and two, but can he do it three and four? Three wide turn two. Everybody gets through. Next flag ends the race. There's never it. been a last lap pass at Phoenix. Here, he Here comes. comes Carl. He's under him. Oh, he's Carl Edwards. Under him. He's going to move him up the race track. Got him up the hill. Here he comes. Wow, look at him slam. That's going to be. Wow. Too wow. close to call. I can't call that one. Did you see them hitting one another? I think Harvey got it by a fraction of an inch. I think one hundredth of a second. What a finish. I, I tell you, OK, Kevin Harvey's Superman. I'll give him that. And you got to give Carl Edwards a lot of credit for making that thing interesting. <laughs> Boy, he oh went for it right gosh. there. Oh my gosh! What a finish! This is them coming through the trioval on the back straightaway. Carl just dives it in there, and he just takes all four to the bottom. Here we go. Puts that fender in the on each quarter other. panel. Bang! Harvey's gonna bang him back. Bang! Man, they almost wrecked right there. Only one of the closest finishes in history, if I had to guess. <laughs> Look at that. Over the top again. Watch your bottom now. Inside. Inside. 
Wow. Man, that was a big impact right there. Inside, still. That's what did it, Jeff, that, that impact. And I, I really think Carl Edwards is going to tell you, hey, I could have wrecked him. I could have spun him. And that was his way of, of, of battling him and, <laughs> and doing it as clean as possible. <laughs> You know, that's as great a finish as you're ever going to see in this sport. Vince, a hundredth of a second. He's smiling now. Uh, Jeff Gordon says you could have wrecked him. Uh, what's going through your mind when you guys, when you had that opportunity, when your right fender is on his left? I, sh I should have wrecked him. No, I, I, um, those guys were doing a great job all day, and they hung on with those tires. But we were faster, so I thought, man, I'll just move him out of the way and get by. I just didn't move him far enough. And then he got up the door, and I thought, I was, I was trying to time it. I thought, I think he's going to beat me. So I tried to sideswipe him before he got there, but my, I, I needed to be in front of his front tire. Um, anyway, just a uh, fun race. Man, I wish I could have won that thing. Dave Rogers did a great job. I got to thank Stanley. They're on board here. Um, you know, hopefully uh, everybody that damaged their stuff can use some Stanley tools and fix it today. But Harris, Toyota, TRD, Subway, Comcast, Xfinity, all of our sponsors. Um, I wanted to win that thing, but... You know, we went, we went some, you lose some. It was a good race. So close, one hundredth of a second away. One hundredth of a second, Kevin. Closest finish in series history. How did you hold off Carl Edwards? Well, I knew he was better through three and four. That was not the car that I wanted to see behind me. Um, I knew I could beat him down there. And I tried to protect the bottom in, in, uh, in three and four, and I just missed the bottom with all the rubber buildup on the tires. and and everything but um, all in all I knew I was going to be on defense down there I got up too high and and wasn't able to stay on the bottom like I wanted to and then he got into me like he should have and once I got the I need I knew I needed to get a good run off the corner and I was going to have to get into his door and it worked out just barely